In this video of the After Effects Fundamentals series, I'll cover all the basics about anchor points. An anchor point is where on the layer all transformations happen from. So for example, if you rotate the layer, it will pivot around its anchor point. Or if you scale a layer, it will scale based on wherever the anchor point is. Remember that I have these handy visual guides that go with all the videos in this After Effects Fundamentals series. It'll save you from a lot of headaches to get in the habit of moving your anchor point to wherever you want it right away before you start animating. If it's already too late for that, I have a second video about anchor points with more advanced techniques, so check that out if you're stuck with an already animated layer with the anchor point in the wrong spot. To move an anchor point, go up to the pan behind tool or the shortcut is Y on the keyboard. With this tool, you can move the anchor point without moving the layer. If you hold the shift key while dragging, it will move the anchor point only in straight lines. If you want to snap the anchor point to the edge, corner, or center of a layer, make sure you're using the pan behind tool, then hold down command or control while dragging the anchor point. You can also turn on snapping here instead of holding down command or control. You can also adjust the anchor point's exact values in the timeline, but this will move the layer. If for some reason you wanted to do this, but in the composition viewer, Hold down Option or Alt while moving the anchor point with the pan behind tool and the anchor point will stay in place while the layer moves. Another common thing to want to do is to center the anchor point on the layer. And there are a couple ways to do that. First, make sure the layer is selected. Then hold the Command or Control key and double click the pan behind tool. Or another way is to use the keyboard shortcut, which is Command Option Home or on a PC Control Alt Home. Obviously, this will only work if you have a keyboard with the home key. You can select multiple layers and use either of these options to center the anchor point on all the layers at once. By default, when you create a new shape layer, the anchor point will be at the center of the composition. A lot of times I find that I want the anchor point to be in the center of the shape instead. You can make this the default by going into the After Effects menu, then Settings, then General, and then check Center Anchor Point in New Shape Layers. And now when you make a new shape, it will do exactly that. The default value and coordinates of anchor points on different types of layers is slightly different. So a quick way to see the anchor point on a layer is just to hit A on the keyboard. For this shape layer, you can see that the anchor point is centered and the coordinates are 0, 0. But for this vector layer imported from Adobe Illustrator, the anchor point is centered, but you can see that the coordinates are 172, 172. And if I were to just type in 0, 0, you can see that that puts the anchor point at the top left corner. But by default, when I imported this in, the anchor point was at the center. For null layers, the default anchor point is going to be 0, 0, and it's going to be in the top left corner. For text layers, if your paragraph style is left justified, then the anchor point will be at the baseline of the text on the left side. But if your text is center justified, it will be at the center at the baseline. And then you can probably guess about right justified. Any layer that can be seen in the composition viewer will have an anchor point, but shape layers actually have two anchor points. The first one is underneath transform, just like any other layer. The second one is going to be under contents and then the shape, so in this case rectangle 1, and then underneath transform rectangle 1, there's going to be a second anchor point. The difference is that this anchor point underneath transform is for the entire layer, but this anchor point next to transform rectangle 1 is going to be just for this shape, because you can have multiple shapes in the same shape layer. So with this shape layer selected, if I go up to the shape tool, I can create a second shape and this shape will have its own anchor point underneath transform rectangle 2. I'm just going to delete this second rectangle for now. The anchor point for the entire layer, that's the one underneath transform, is going to be this bigger, more defined one. But if you click on the anchor point underneath transform and then the shape, you can see it's a little bit more faint, but this is the second anchor point that's just for the shape. If you click and drag to create a shape layer and then you center the anchor point, and you go underneath transform, you might see a number here that's not zero, zero, even though the anchor point is centered. 
And the reason for that is because shape layers have two different anchor points. So if we go under transform rectangle one, you can see that this anchor point is centered, but the position of this rectangle within the layer is not zero. So if we were to zero this, it will move the shape, but now both this anchor point and this position are zero. And then now this anchor point is over here. So if we zero this out, now the layer is back where it started and the anchor point is centered and only the layer's position has a value. Everything else is zeroed. So that's one of the reasons why it's important to know that there's two different anchor points for shape layers. If you wanna make sure that the anchor point and position for the shape itself within the shape layer start off at zero, so you don't have to do those steps that I just did, instead of clicking and dragging to create the shape, what you wanna do is just double click on the shape tool. And that will create a full screen shape, but the position and anchor point of the shape itself will be zero. Then you can go into the shape size and adjust to whatever you want. Another reason why it's important to understand that shape layers have multiple anchor points is because you can use this to accomplish different things. I cover these types of advanced techniques in another video. While that covers all the basics of ways that you can manipulate anchor points natively in After Effects, you'll probably come across other things you wish you could do, like move an anchor point once the layer already has position keyframes, or move the anchor point on multiple layers at once, or have different anchor points at different times in the animation. For solutions to those issues, as well as more advanced anchor point tips and techniques, check out this video.